Hey you guys, it's Jim from OfflineClassroom.com and I wanted to show you something that is pretty cool actually and could make you some money uh, using Twilio. Not necessarily using any program that you whip up, but using a vanity number and putting together uh, either a website or a video uh, that includes that vanity number and then renting that out, you know, getting it ranked and renting it out to a, to a, uh, a business, a local business. You could also just rent out the vanity number. Remember that you pay a dollar a month. If you could get ten dollars or fifteen dollars a month for a vanity number, you'd be making a nice return on your investment. So, to do this, I'll show you how to how to search for these. Go into your uh, numbers, and you're going to click over here, buy a number. And when you get to buy a number, you're going to see uh, a little search thing. And what we want to do is click on advanced search, and we're going to search. Generally, vanity numbers, if you don't know what they are, they have a word in them so that people remember them easy. Uh, depending on the business, uh, you'd have a word that relates to your business. Like if you are uh, um, in the loan business, you might have something that ends in the word loan or whatever. Now, a lot of the 800 number vanity numbers are already taken. They've been taken for years. But there's a lot of local numbers that you could use as vanity numbers and sell them. Or, like I said, make a video, rank it, or a website or a website and a video rank it and sell it as a package or rent it out as a package. So we're going to search just some simple terms. We don't want begins with, we want ends with. Um, there's en there's begins with terms found anywhere, we don't want that. We want ends with because that's usually vanity numbers end with. So let's search for a few. Let's try the word loan and we'll see what's available. Okay, now it's going to search nationwide for local numbers, and I'll show you right over here. So we've got a lot of vanity numbers that have loan in them, and you can see the areas of the country that they're in. So you can decide uh, where you'd like to target. Um, some of these are smaller towns, some are, are bigger towns, some are suburbs, and so uh, you'll you'll want to obviously target in the area code, but you could purchase any of these for a dollar and sell them to a, a loan a, a local loan officer or whatever so they can have a, their own vanity number. Let's try some other ones. There's so many in here and um, what's cool is if you refresh results down here you get even more of them. So I think there's hundreds and hundreds of these so you don't have to worry about ever somebody taking all of them because they come in and out a lot. Let's try the word cash. Let's say you have a local um, place that you know like a, a place that lends money out on people's paychecks or whatever um, and they want the word cash in there. You can see where we have in California, California, uh, Massachusetts, Georgia, uh, Massachusetts, Iowa. So you could choose one of those and figure out. Let's try a different one that even has, uh, now four letters are nice because it ends in, you know, you could say uh, 351 cash. But let's try one. Let's say that you're dealing with a uh, place that rents apartments. Let's try for rent. See what comes up. You can try. You can think of these all day long. Actually, there's a lot of them for rent. Um, four zero four rent. Four zero four rent. 294 rent in New York City, New York. Now, you, you, there's got to be somebody who would rent that number from you so people could easily remember that. 929 294 rent. So you get the idea. Let's try one more just to give you an idea. Let's try the word money. Lots of different ways you could use the word money. You could sell it to a loan officer, sell it to a, uh, a local bank. 3 7 money. There's in Texas. 8-6 money in Florida, New York. So this is this is searching for vanity numbers and what I'm doing is taking one of these, I won't tell you which one it is, but I'm building a website and a video around it. I'm going to rank it and I'm going to approach local businesses in the area I chose to um, say, listen, I got a vanity number, I have a website and I have a video and I'd like to, um, I'm, it, it's up for rent right now. If you want to pay me X amount per month, it's all yours. Everything that comes from that. So use this, give it a try and see what you can do with it. Like I said, you can just rent out the number. Tell a local business, listen, I own a vanity number, would you like to um, would you like to use it in your marketing for you know 20 bucks a month, or whatever. So you're making 20 times your investment. 
Now, you'd, they'd have to pay for um, uh, usage on that number because it's your Twilio account. But, it, you know, unless they're getting tons and tons of calls, I would imagine that would only be a few bucks a month. So, you know, make sure you know how much usage they're going to get. But that's vanity numbers using Twilio. Uh, so hopefully you can go out and make some money.